Hello and welcome to Granite Shorts episode 3. It's no secret that natural stone, including granite, is porous to some degree. This might allow liquids to penetrate the surface and leave a stain. To prevent that from happening, we use a sealer. But after some time, the sealer will wear off, especially in places where it, the countertops are used most heavily. So what do you do then? How do you reapply the sealer? Do you do it yourself or somebody has to come in and do it for you? Is it expensive? These are the questions that we're going to answer today. What we've got here is my manager's office table. And even though it probably won't see food, there might be a chance that it's going to see a coffee spill, maybe two during its lifetime. So we're going to seal it. Before we seal the granite, we need to clean it. And to do that, we're going to use the same cleaner we showed you in the first episode. So I'm just going to spray the whole surface pretty evenly and we're just going to wipe it. It's a pretty big table. So we have to let this dry out completely before we start sealing. We're going to wait a couple of minutes and then we'll get back to it. Most sealers work in the same way and the directions of use will be similar but always read the directions on the back of the bottle. I have poured the sealer into a sprayer bottle. This will help me distribute the sealer evenly across the whole surface. If you don't have an empty sprayer bottle, you can pour small amounts of the sealer onto the surface and spread them around with a brush. But the sprayer really helps a lot, so I recommend that method. All right, so we have the whole table sprayed down with the sealer. What's your next step? Well you probably want to do this. And if that's what you did, you did it wrong. What we're doing here is basically trying to get the sealer to penetrate the stone, get absorbed by the stone, and then let it clog up the pores while as it's drying out, not to let anything else in. By wiping it down with a very absorbent paper towel, you're taking the sealer from the surface into the towel and throwing it out. So, basically, I'm going to respray the part that I messed up. And the whole thing should sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. The stone is going to do all of the work for you. Okay, so, our table is still wet which means that all of the sealer that could was absorbed into the stone. So let's just dry it off now, just the excess, with a paper towel. And you sometimes might get like a slight haze effect on the surface, but don't worry about that, that will clean right off. All right, it's a good idea to let that dry completely over the next few hours, but that's pretty much it, we're done. So, how often do you need to reseal your stone? Well, that depends on the stone itself. In this case, we have granite, which should be resealed in about two, three years. With marble, that's going to be a little bit more often, about every six months to a year. How expensive is it? Well, a quart of the sealer should last you for 200, 400 square feet of countertop surface and it costs about $40. If you have any more questions about granite and ceiling, you can leave them in the comment box below. That's it for today's episode and I'll see you next week.